this is the Northwest Showcase on 93.9 KPDQ. Dr. Day is here from Day Chiropractic, and uh, still some time. If you have a question for us, love to uh, hear from you. Locally in Portland, 503-786-9390. Outside of Portland, 1-800-845-2162. Dr. Day is here. You'll find Day Chiropractic at 3758 Southeast 122nd Avenue, just south of Powell, between Powell and Foster. It's easy to find. They're online at daychiropractic.com, and you can make an appointment at 503-760-7572. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things now, as you could probably gather, I am, I am an advocate of wellness chiropractic care. Um, my dad was a chiropractor, and I've had chiropractic care my entire life. Your brother is too, and right? And my brother's a chiropractor. Oh, yeah. So, so I mean, I'm, I'm all in. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 down, I'm down with chiropractic care. Right? <laughs> so, and one of the things that I believe is that people should um, have regular care and be proactive with it. Now, one of the biggest questions, so let's say, because um, uh, some people live with the adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So they, they only worry about their back when their back hurts, right? And if they have a medical philosophy, they'll go get a medical, they'll get a pill, or they'll go and go to do some physical therapy or do something like that kind of thing. Um, if you have more of a chiropractic philosophy, then some people then go to the chiropractor when the back hurts. Well, now I I would argue that, and this has been from my experience, it's better if somebody will do like a, some sort of regular maintenance type of care, and where they you know, just set up once a month and just come and get adjusted, right? I don't understand why people don't do this. All right. Well, there was a study that was just released in September of this year, and what they did, and I had never seen, you know, so you can imagine how excited I was, because <laughs> they, they, were, they were looking at the effectiveness of chiropractic maintenance care, and they said, well, let's look at maintenance care with two different strategies. All right, and this was done in Sweden. One strategy is, let's go and have the chiropractor, and this is, they, they found people who had already been under chiropractic care and had already responded to chiropractic. So there were 328 people in this study. They were randomly assigned to either a group where they would have maintenance care that was the schedule determined by the chiropractor. The other group was in more of a self-directed. That would be, you go in and get your adjustment. If your back starts to hurt, you start to have a problem, then you decide in a, so more like a self-directed maintenance care, okay? That sort of thing. That's that's a concept. So, what do you think they found? You know what? I'm just going to take a <laughs> guess that they they found that it's good to go and have regular maintenance. It's, it's spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> it's either either way works really good. Okay. Right. But all right. So the first, the maintenance care where uh, where the aim is to schedule appointments before you even start to have a problem. Right. You see. So I would say this is more proactive, and this is kind of what. What I thought, this is what everybody should do. I don't understand why more people don't do this. But it was interesting. So, um, and, and the, the other group served as, the, as the, the control group. But at the conclusion of the study, this is what they found. They looked at the total of number of days of bothersome low back pain in all subjects. So this was the people who were in this study were people who had, kind of, they, their back would periodically in, in a recurring fashion give them trouble so they needed to have some treatment, that sort of thing. So the maintenance care group, and so that's the one where it was a more proactive group, they had 85.2 days of bothersome pain. So did it stop the pain? No, but I mean, that's, they're kind of looking at this, this, this group of people who have chronic recurring back problems, okay? So the control group, so this is the one, the self-directed people, they had 98 days, all right? Mm. So the people who went to the chiropractor in a more proactive fashion, they still had some bothers, it doesn't, doesn't solve the problem, but it was you know, 15 days less okay, than the other group. All right. And the people in maintenance care had a quicker reduction in overall pain. So if your back starts to hurt, the people who were under the maintenance, you know, the proactive group, they had, they had uh, a quicker reduction in overall pain. Now, so interestingly, the average uh, visits in one year were 6.7 visits in the, pro, the one designed by the chiropractor. Uh, but the control patients had an average of 4.8 visits. So they did not go in quite as often. Okay. All right? Yeah. So the only negative side effects anyone experienced were local soreness and tenderness, their tiredness. So, you know, so that's the other thing. They, they added that because some people are still, I mean, the people, you guys listening, if you've never been to a chiropractor, you know, what, what are you waiting for, right? I mean, this is, this is, this is, we're, we're past even having that as a concern. In fact, all these studies, they look mm -hmm. at that. I mean, they, the only side effect was, 
a little bit of uh, local soreness and tiredness. You know, please. Uh, so, the conclusion. In patients with recurring and persistent low back pain who respond well to an initial course of manual therapy, the maintenance care result, the proactive, resulted in a reduction in number of days with bothersome low back pain per week compared with the symptom-guided treatment. In total, the, the maintenance care group had an average of 12.8 fewer days with bothersome lower back pain over, over 12 months. And the effect of this intervention was achieved at the cost of 1.7 additional visits to the chiropractor. So for patients with recurring persistent low back pain who are selected according to evidence-based criteria, maintenance care should be considered. So you, if, you, if you are more proactive, you know, th what this study showed is yes, you will have 1.6. So, you know, so in this study, it was a few visits at more than the, than the other. So, if you're willing to have better outcome, less pain, and bounce back faster, and yes, you may need, you'll get, you'll probably get a few extra visits than the other group. I mean, you can get away with less visits, but you'll have problems to a greater degree. So, and that's, that's kind of my point is, I don't know that it's necessarily that big of a savings, but it just works better. Sure. And I watch people who are under more of a, more proactive, they get in a car wreck a lot of times, I don't even have to open a car accident claim. You know, we might give them a one or two and they want to just, let me just pay for this so I don't have to worry about the hassle. Okay. You know what I mean? They, they can roll with stuff easier. Right. And it really, it really is interesting to me. And so it was fun. I finally have a study that they actually did. <laughs> you need to hang on to that. I know. It's like, <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, the phone number once again for Day Chiropractic, it is 503-760-7572, 760-7572. Daychiropractic.com. It's the Northwest Showcase, 93.9 KPDQ. And uh, before we forget, um, just mm -hmm. mention your CDs yeah. again. So we've got three CDs now for the Day Brothers. One is uh, Day by Days, which is the gospel. And then What Were You Thinking? And uh, I ended up writing the song, What Were You Thinking? So that's, that's, it's fun to have written it's the title track on that one. Yeah. Well, and our first album is called Prime. And this is, I also wrote the title a song for that, which is I'm Not Fat, I'm Prime. So <laughs> the, the, my brothers, so I'm kinda, I kind of write these tongue-in-cheek type of song, you know, And so we love singing. The three of us boys were sitting at, at a steakhouse. And we realized, wait a minute, if we were pieces of steak, we've got a little extra girth on us, a little bit of fat, and that adds flavor, and we'd pay more for us. Right. So I said, I'm not fat, I'm prime. That's, we just had to change. <laughs> so if you like that, you know, so you go on iTunes, or if you want to, you know, if you come by the office, they want to buy all three, I'll, I'll do a special for you. But, all right. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that's like Dr. That's Dr. Day's like uh, other job. His, his, his moonlighting is, yeah. is a, a Southern gospel singer. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's so exciting. And actually, yeah, we've done uh, you know on, take, on the on the gospel uh, you know the gospel sing on Saturday nights. They actually uh, I, I heard that one of the, one of the ones they did oh, was great. shouting on the hills of glory. Yeah, you know which is off the gospel. And I had the privilege of singing that one. So that yeah. one's it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, that is neat. And it is interesting when you look at music and and. and harmonic resonance and being in tune you know you take an instrument what do you do you tune the neck and it makes a vibrational frequency be harmonious right i kind of tune your neck you know, if you think about that if you get if you're subluxated you're out of alignment you're out of tune you're not vibrating you, you're like an instrument that's out of tune that's been sitting in a garage for a month or something let me tune you up and then let me play that and it'll be Oh, beautiful music again! You know, right, like, right now it's out of tune. That's right. Yeah, let's let's get you back in tune. Uh, got it? And uh, you know, it's it's really it's but but it is interesting thinking about. In fact, a book that I have that was written in 1910 by Dr. Palmer was chiropractic founded on tone. You know, and so there's there's some real connections I think with being a musician and being a chiropractor that that we're we're working with harmonic resonance and things of this nature and. And there are a lot of analogies that can be drawn. Well, well, just look at the like the neck of the guitar, where yeah. you know where you're you're tuning. Yeah. You, my mom played guitar for forever and ever, so I know a tiny bit about it. She had a Martin yes. guitar, and and when you're tuning it, it's just like when you're you know going into you know the, the, get an the, adjustment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and think about it. That's right. They're just slight slight recalibrations, yeah. but. Oh, everything yeah. worried. I was like, okay, yeah. that's great. Power's back on. Yeah. Nice. yeah. <laughs> well, the things that cause distortions, you know, uh, whiplash, whiplash injuries. Um, uh, one of the, one of the handouts that I gave here was uh, called Whiplash Injury Myths and Truths, and uh, this would be one of the big things. You know, that when when I look at people's health, what are the things that distort your health? 
Well, it would be bad traumas that you go through. Really, kind of our number one on the hit parade sort of thing. And I would probably put whiplash injuries as probably, a, if I had one single category, that probably has caused more devastation to people's lives than just about anything that, that I know. Um, you know, in being in practice, I have to deal with this. It's, you know, people, people die. And, and there, there is a fair amount of grief that goes along. It's not just that everybody in a car accident just walks away and does fine. There are, there are situations I've had to deal with with patients who get hurt and also people have died that in the car they were driving or mm -hmm. that they hit or whatever. And, and so there's, there's those sorts of things too. But do, do people still, I mean, do they get as hurt with airbags versus seatbelts? You know what? Um, the, the only time the airbags deploy is if they run the front end hit something. Okay. So we have all these side impacts that still, that, although we have more of these curtain airbags and things like that, and they probably do help somewhat, but I'm starting to worry about the distracted driving situations now. It seems like there's, there's a lot of, there's enough things that are screwing us up that, that, um, that it's not like there's, there's no problems anymore. Um, and, and it is interesting that, that the, no one has ever been able to correlate extent of, of dam of, you know, like if you were going like the speed of vehicles, if, if you're going really fast, it's going to be a lot of injuries. And if you go slow, it's no injuries or no one's ever been able to equate that. Or if you have $5,000 worth of vehicle damage, that's, you're going to be hurt a lot worse than if you have $500 or hardly any, that, that no study has ever found a correlation like that. That would be kind of what we would expect. So that must mean that there's other factors. And I think um, things like, you can be sitting talking to the driver with your neck turned and then you get rear-ended oh. and you know the airbags wouldn't have because the the rear ends accidents tend to give people more problems right and it's usually in the car that got rear-ended so the airbags don't help in that situation the airbags help if you run into something well statistically my experience has been that that's usually not where most of the damage you know the people who are it's usually the people who are rear-ended a lot of times they're they're sitting there, they're bending over, they're changing the radio, they're doing, they're not expecting to get hit, you know? So then they get hit, and if they're in a weird position or they're slouched or they're, mm. they're just not prepared, they don't think it's gonna happen, then, then this is where a lot, of the, a lot of the problems come. For instance, if your head is turned halfway, so 45 degrees, and then you get hit from behind pretty hard, uh, your neck really, if, if you turn your head 45 degrees and try to go backwards, you can only go half as far as if you're looking straight ahead and go back. So, what that does is that makes uh, that makes problems with the neck. If you if you were if you were sitting talking to the driver, you were the driver talking to the passenger, or, or look at the radio when you got hit, you're going to have some problems that relate to the, your body's position, the fact that you weren't expected, that you weren't protected by the you know the seat backs. I mean, if you're sitting, if your body is in the exact right position, you know you're going to get hit, and you can brace yourself, and you can be with your head against the head restraint. I mean, that can help you, but. If it's 20, you know, if you can, this back seat can break. There's all sorts of things that can happen, right? So I look at car accidents, I say, listen, if you've been in a car accident, uh, really, and most of the time going to the emergency room ends up being a waste of time. Yes, yeah, so uh, ibuprofen. And yeah, they, they really don't do, and if they take an x-ray, it might just be a cursory one or two. Like I think about when I take x-rays, um, if you were, if we're, we're thinking we might have a whiplash sort of situation, I will actually put your head in a forward position, a head and head backwards position, and a side, and I'll actually measure each one of the bones, because mm -hmm. did you have ripping, maybe you might have had a rip between, of the ligaments between C5 and 6, well you wouldn't have even known that if no one ever bothered to do that, you know, and if they were only told to take Advil or go rest, you know, well, well that, that might be fine, but nobody ever did anything to figure out if that really was the right answer, they just, you know, they just guessed that that was the right answer, and most of the times it, it's okay, but, but if no one ever checks you, really really to try to figure it out then you're you're missing you're you're gonna miss out you got problems I'm probably gonna bring this next time because I I, I want to talk about the problems that come from car accidents the other thing is another another article is can chiropractic adjustments make you smarter <laughs> and the answer is yes I believe so it. if you're feeling stupid or you're feeling like your brain just is not working or you're I mean they, they did things like they did an adjustment and then they would they would test people before the adjustment and then afterwards and they would have them do tasks and people got adjusted they could they could they could follow like on the computer they it sped up their response time so if you're a gamer or you're anything like that the best thing you can do to improve your score is to get some adjustments because chiropractic adjustments actually will make you smarter and it's like oh that's kind of cool <laughs> i just thought it was for back pain or car accidents <laughs> or something like that the uh, <laughs> phone number for jay chiropractic 503-760-7572 503 760 
And they're at 3758 Southeast 122nd Avenue, just south of Powell, between Powell and Foster. You can check out the website at daychiropractic.com. $65 yep. special. Yep, and come, come on and let's do a full workup. We've got a convenient parking lot, so you can just come right up 122nd at our parking lot. Very convenient, and we can, we'll take good care of you. Dr. Day, when is the next time people can see you perform? Uh, so it's probably, got, we're working on a date in December 1st. Okay. Or, or, yeah, in the, or early in December, maybe the second, early in December. So and I'll put that, I'll put that on our, our thing. Yeah. On the uh, website and yeah. Facebook. Okay, daychiropractic.com. Out of time, and our show today uh, brought to you by Day Chiropractic. Can I have an adjustment yes. right now for my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Day. You're welcome. Yeah, good to have you on. His uh, phone number, 503-760-7572, daychiropractic.com. I'm Andy West on 93.9 KPDQ. <clears throat>